I don't wanna fight, I just wanna see ya Please give me a sign, yeah Please give me a sign if you wanna Welcome back to Two Cool Guys, Two Hot Picks. On a personal note, I just want to say on behalf of Mark and myself, thank you very much for all of those that voted for us for the 2022 Comic Book Community Awards. Apparently, we had well over 100 votes go our way for Best Ongoing Series. We are very appreciative of the nomination and for those of you that decided to vote for us. Thank you very much. Maybe next year we'll secure that victory. Anyways, let's talk about New Comic Book Day, and here's Mark's pick for this upcoming one. What is up, Comic Army? So this week for my hot pick, I'm going with none other than the highly anticipated DC Comics black label title called Danger Street from Tom King and Jorge Fornes. So what this is, it's an upcoming maxi series inspired by the heroes and villains of DC's first issue special. So Tom King and Jorge Fornes return for an unforgettable maxi series that reimagines the characters and their story. So it'll be a multi-character, multi-layered crime drama starring some of DC's most obscure creations. And they promise that no one will see it coming, but everyone will want to see where it goes. So this is a really cool thing that they're doing. This is a great opportunity for Tom King to really play to his strengths as a writer. It's a maxi series, it's black label, and he's working with obscure characters such as Dr. Fate, The Creeper, Mark Shaw's Manhunter, Jack Kirby's Atlas, and more. So the premise of this story is going to be a couple of these characters are trying to prove their worth to the Justice League to get caught up to the big leagues, and they call on Darkseid in order to battle him and prove their worth, and it just goes downhill from there. So if you've read any of Tom King's stuff, especially his maxi series, you know that that synopsis is probably just like getting your dipping your toe in the water. It's about to be wild. Jorge Fornes' art is fantastic. Highly recommend this. There's tons of great covers for this one, including an awesome A cover with Dr. Fate's helm and the whole hand coming out of the ground. You have a gorgeous Joe uh, Steve Rude, I'm sorry, Steve Rude B cover, as well as a 1 in 25 Lee Weeks cardstock and a gorgeous 1 in 50 Ben Oliver variant. So be on the lookout to see which one really speaks to you, but do not miss out on this story. This is about to be a blast. Chris, what are you picking? Mark, I'm going with a book that's been hyped for a very long time. Way back in the late 80s, early 90s, a bunch of artists left both Marvel and DC and went off and started Image. One of those that was most vocal about his unhappiness with the companies was Todd McFarlane. Now, flash forward to 1994, something happened that I, as a comic book reader, never thought would happen. And that was a crossover between Image and DC Comics. It actually happened. And two of their most franchisable characters, Spawn and Batman, actually happened. Yes, Frank Miller was the writer for this fantastic crossover featuring both Spawn and Batman. Well, flash forward to today, and it's about to happen again. For the last five or six months, Todd McFarlane, one of the best and most loudest vocal hype man in all of comic books today, has been talking about Batman, Spawn, crossing over one more time this time with todd himself writing and greg capullo doing the interior artwork well i'm not suffering from fomo but i'm really curious to see what they're going to do with this particular crossover not much has been leaked about the plot line other than gotham city and new york city are about to cross cross ways with those two fantastic superheroes meeting each other Again, when you toss in She Spawn, you know you're going to have an interesting storyline. Like I said, not much has been told, but we do have a wide array of variant comics, uh, variant covers, as you can see, that I've been spotlighting. So, this is my hot pick for this upcoming new comic book day a book that actually has DC at the very top of the cover A. I don't see the image logo. Do you? <laughs> 
These are our hot picks for this upcoming new comic book day. Thank you for a little bit of time that you spend with us. And again, thank you for those of you who voted for our little show. Until we see you again, Comic Army, we are Legion.